Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on a Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 20th day of February 2015 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review and what a way to end the week with an announcement by the EU and the Greek government that they have come to some kind of accord. We have the equities markets running to new all-time highs. Gold continuing under pressure. First to gold, 1201, current print on the screen, the low 1198.20, the high 1216 and change. Silver also under pressure today, trading near the lows at 1622. That puts it off about 14 cents on the day. The low 1612, the high 1668. We'll touch on silver towards the end of the show. First to gold and the announcement made in Europe today. So the announcement in essence really is a, a game of kick the can over the next four months. Of course, you're going to have to come out with some measures on Monday. We'll see how this all unfolds. I expect Monday and Tuesday to have some real fireworks in the market. But in terms of what we've seen now, we've seen a continuation of pressure at this critical point, the 61 slash 76% retracement area. Again, this is our matching low on the day. When I say matching low, it equals the low that we had a couple of days ago. You can see that on this daily candle here, matching this low here. Will this support hold? That is, of course, the $64,000 question. However, there is no question in terms of how our equities markets reacted uh, to the news. We are at a record top 2106. We're just coming into the close right now or settlement right now in the Standard & Poor's, this being the E-mini uh, 2106. You can see that this market has literally from about the middle of 2011 to the current point in which it's had, it's gone from 1,000 to 2,100 and an 1,100 point move to the upside, more than doubling in value. Tremendous, tremendous move as we see the S&Ps close near record highs. The same rise, however, cannot be said for a crude oil we saw that the market bottomed <coughs> excuse me roughly around i believe 42 or 43 per barrel moved back up almost to 55 a barrel stalled at that point and is now much closer as you can see on our weekly chart we've had a down week markets closing around 51 dollars per barrel today we did get lower pricing if we go ahead and kind of move this up. You can see where the market is a red candle. It's closed lower, roughly at $51 per barrel on the day. Now, in terms of the US dollar index, you can see that daily uh, chart closing right now at about 94.46. We have seen some real resistance in the market in terms of the index up at around 96. That's where we saw the market really begin to find a little bit of congestion. We've had this market trading in this area for quite some time now, approximately two weeks in time. We've seen this before where the market will genuinely kind of trade sideways, try to find some footing, and then move to higher ground. I believe that we're probably going to see a similar activity, meaning congestion. I don't think we've hit the top yet on this dollar, but we'll have to see. Most importantly, what has this done to gold pricing? Now, in terms of gold prices themselves, there's absolutely no doubt uh, this market, after hitting a high at uh, 1306, 1307, has really never looked back. It has been trading under pressure, breaking through Fib retracement points like a hot knife through butter, so to speak. You can see where they had some validity. In other words, as the market would come, it would attempt to find some footing. Then you can see it drops down to this next level. From this next level, it attempted to clip back up but stalled at 1235, broke through yet another Fib retracement, this being 1119, and finally, finally kind of seeing if it can find any kind of support in this area. Now, as I said, we've had two days of 1198 as our intraday low. 
we're absolutely at a crossroads. This is a critical area on a technical basis. We can see it on a couple of different charts. You can see it in terms of these straight numbers here in terms of a Fib retracement, but yet another way to look at it, and we talked about this a little bit on chart this, our daily viewers also know that we've been talking about this chart all week, and that is the fact that if we look at this long-standing resistance line, which is simply drawn from the highs in the marketplace itself, we had an apparent breakout as it broke above. This is where it hits 13. This is where it comes back down. But if you notice, right now, it is right in this area. And so my sense is that this critical area, if it bounces off of this area, it tells us that we've got fairly substantially higher prices. It's going to go back and test this 1300. However, if it breaks through this resistance line, then we're probably going to go and test our lows at around 1160 to 1130. So we really need to see how the market reacts at this particular price point. And traders, yet another way to look at this, and this is, an, this is a chart we looked at a little bit this week, but we pulled it out of the archive, so to speak. I haven't looked at this chart in quite some time. This is the chart that we were using as this market was trading lower, and we were plotting really the channel lines so that we could see if it hit the high and bounced off and what channels, it, what particular channels it was finding support or resistance. The market clearly broke above the zero line. We then added our negative 23%. Uh, to the channel lines here it broke through that and lo and behold here you can see how it's back at this line so it's not a single technical study but a multitude of studies that are showing us that we're absolutely at a crossroads at a really critical area break below this is significant a bounce at this point is significant and I really want to see how the market reacts on a technical basis. My sense right now, my sense right now is we're probably headed for lower pricing. The confirmation of course would be breaking through this. If in fact we get support and it bounces back up, that shows us the tremendous level of support at 1200 and the key is this. Although the Greek government and the EU have come to an understanding and accord of sorts. On Monday, they really have to begin to ferret out the details of that accord. And so the devil is in the details as far as I'm concerned. We are looking at a 720 minute chart. On this particular chart, it's a little bit different because we're looking at a shorter term long standing resistance line. We can absolutely see that we haven't reached that resistance line, but if we take a look here, I've created a support trend line based upon these three series of lows, extending it forward, and lo and behold, this is where we're currently trading at. So you can see that we have a multitude of different technical studies that we've done, either using standard trend analysis such as this, or Fibonacci retracement and in all cases it points to the fact that we are absolutely at a crossroads in this market the next couple of days are really going to give us some valuable I believe information in terms of the future direction of gold whether or not it can find support at this level or if it breaks through this level and that's going to give us the information that we need I believe to then put on our next trade for the weekend, we are going in flat with no open trades in either gold or silver. And in terms of silver, we have been talking about the fact that really this, this area right in here at around 1610, it's a pretty critical area that needs to be held in terms of support. It is not tantamount to this 1200 in gold, but it is the area that we would want to see if it holds or breaks. You can really see where this comes in. Let's go ahead and turn this into our weekly chart, and thereby you'll really see where this number comes in from right in here. And these are the various levels of support and resistance that we have plotted for silver. My sense right now, if it can hold 1600 if gold holds 1200 if we get that bounce, I expect higher pricing, a break below this particular trend at 1610 on silver, uh, 1198 on gold will signal dramatically lower prices. 
Hold on to your hats because I believe next week we could see some real action in the marketplace. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great weekend. We will talk to you on Monday for another daily update review. Bye-bye.